It was massive. Um, I don't think the boys or myself wanted to go own four. I think the three points is could be the, the the next step in the ladder, allowing us to to try to get that momentum back with guys being out um, due to health and uh, injuries. But the three points today, massive, and the way they did it, once again, a testament of belief and changing the game up after 45 minutes uh, to go into the second half to to score two, um, allowing us to get back into the game and get the three points. It's it's really on them, on accountability. And was, that's what they did in the second half. I, I think I challenged them. Um, what I said at halftime was, you know, we can't have a positive turn to a negative. So it has to be a positive or a positive. And then the possession in the first half was possession without purpose. And those are the things that I touched on that you can't just win the ball and give the ball away. And we also have to have possession with purpose, with an idea of what we're going to do with the ball when we get to different areas of the field. I think it also helped allow us to um, uh, to change the system up a little bit, to, to go to a 3-5-2, allowing us to put a little bit more pressure on their back line and to cause those mistakes. And I think that continued with the confidence with those players, allowing us to get into some dangerous areas. Um, and it got the job done, you know? Uh, that was the only choice that we had with, with guys getting out with injuries and everything like that. But I think on the day, it allowed the game to open up and allowing us to play what you saw earlier in the year with our style of football. I think the community itself, you know, we represent all the different regions up here in North Georgia and to have a collaborative effort of kids coming from all around to support us is outstanding. One, we get to plant a seed of one day playing on this field or coming to the University of North Georgia. And two, I think the, the fans bring the energy and our guys feed off of the energy. So I think that's very important. Regarding Manovalo, an old foe that used to be in the Peach Belt, um, that team is a, a team with nine scholarships and they play well under the guidance of Bruce and it'll be a great test, a good region test for us. And I think it's one of those challenges that we ask our guys, hey, we're playing well at home. We're playing great at home. Can we continue to play well at home and continue to build off of this momentum with a non-conference game, allowing us to make that transition to Flagler and not looking too way ahead. But that's what these games mean. Uh, today we're four and three and we're one and three in conference. Can we be five and three on Wednesday? You know, and, and I think once every game that we get to play, we get to unlock a different uh, feature for us, uh, allowing us to be the best version of ourselves towards the end of the season. And that's what we want.